Hello everyone, my name is Steve Scott, and I'm with the Amateur Athletic Union, and specifically I'm here with our uh, rank granting body, the Judo Black Belt Association, uh, at this great opportunity to promote two of our finest judo players ever in the United States Hi. to, uh, <laughs> to uh, some high, high grade rank here. Uh, first of all, I brought the red and white belt up. Once Rhonda is promoted, uh, she now is entitled to wear the traditional red and white belt for her station and rank. So rank really is, our belts really hold our judo geese together, our jackets together really, that's the ultimate purpose. But it also has two significant factors, the rank does, and is that uh, your standing and your relevance in the world of judo or martial arts, and also your technical expertise. And these two women have abundance of both. They're highly respected, and they're really tough. <laughs> this is the first mother and daughter team to ever hold this high of Don Gray, I think in the world, but certainly in the United States. So we're really proud of them. <laughs> so Anne Maria already has and wears her red and white belt on special occasions. So uh, without further ado, I would like to promote Dr. Anne Maria DeMars to her seventh grade black belt. Still 28, you know. <laughs> but, uh, but and I lie about my age, obviously. But uh, I remember when Rhonda was born, and she grew up on a judo mat, and then she's done so well in life, and we're so proud of her. So, Rhonda, could you come in and do it? And we're awarding Rhonda Rousey her sixth grade black belt and her traditional red and white belt in judo. When I was young, they told women that you had to wear a black belt with a white stripe on it because women's rank wasn't as good as men's. And I said I wasn't gonna do it. And if anybody could make me put one on, I would wear it. And I have yet to wear it. And now I have a red and white belt and it doesn't have a stripe on it either. And I just wanted to say to all you guys that wanna put women down, and I know none of you are probably here. I'm not leaving and I bred more like me. <laughs> Hard to follow that one up. Uh, you know what's funny is I didn't even know that red and white belts were a thing when I was a kid. And I saw some other kids from we went to like some national junior nationals or something. I saw these other girls had you know white stripes in their belts, and I'm like, why do they get white stripes? You know, I thought it was like an accessory, like you know, like a hair bread. And I'm like, oh, there you go. I'm like white stripes, right? Those are cool. She's like, no white stripes. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But I, I think I'm just so lucky that only one, <laughs> one generation removed, I, the idea of having a white stripe on the belt was something completely foreign to me because it wasn't hammered into me like it really was into my mom when she was younger that you are less and your belt has to have a white stripe on it because you are never going to be equal to the men and you always have to remember that you are a novice to them and, and no matter what you've done and... It's funny that, um, that I feel like when my kids are growing up, that they're not even gonna be able to see another girl with a white stripe on their belt and wonder what it means, that they'll only hear, hear about it because this has been recorded and it won't even be a factor in their lives and they'll never even have to think of it. So thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs>